Ezra the priest. Dear friends, in the previous video we saw Ezra, whom Artaxerxes sent to make inquiry about the people of Israel who had returned from exile. In today's video we will see more of who Ezra was and what he did for the people. Ezra was a descendant of the high priest Aaron from the tribe of Levi. He was a scribe skilled in the law of Moses that the Lord God of Israel had given, and the hand of the Lord his God was on him. The Almighty God worked in the heart of Persian king Artaxerxes. The king called Ezra and sent him to inquire about the people in Judah and Jerusalem, and about the temple of the Lord. He also let anyone who wanted to join him go along. The king also commanded all the treasurers beyond the river to help with whatever Ezra needed. Ezra took courage, for the hand of the Lord his God was upon him, and he gathered leading men to go up with him. These people were the ones who, at the time of King Cyrus of Persia, when a few people returned to Jerusalem under the leadership of Zerubbabel, did not come with them. Sixty years back, the people returned in the leadership of Zerubbabel to rebuild the destroyed temple. Now, in the first day of the first month of the seventh year of the reign of Artaxerxes, Ezra began to go up from Babylonia. He reached Jerusalem on the first day of the fifth month. Ezra's mission was to study the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach his statutes and rules in Israel. Throughout their journey, the hand of the Lord was on them, and he delivered them from the hand of their enemy and from ambushes on the way. Lesser than 2,000 people came to Jerusalem with Ezra. They remained in Jerusalem for three days. On the fourth day, they gave the vessels of gold and silver they had brought to the priests. Then they offered burnt offerings and sin offerings for all Israel. They also delivered the king's commissions to the king's satraps and to the governors of the province beyond the river, and they aided the people in the house of the Lord. Then Ezra made inquiries about the people who came to Jerusalem with Zerubbabel. Within this short span of time, the people of Israel had forsaken God's commandments and mixed themselves with the people of the lands. They indulged in their abomination and had taken some of their daughters for themselves and for their sons. Thus the holy race defiled itself by mixing with the Gentiles. And in this faithlessness, the hand of the officials and the chief men had been foremost. And hearing this, Ezra was greatly distressed. And all who trembled at the word of God gathered around him. Then Ezra prayed and made confession, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God. And a very great assembly of men, women, and children gathered to him. They acknowledged their sin and repented. They agreed to put away their foreign wives and their children. And the men who had married foreign women each offered guilt offerings for their guilt. Thus, like Sadhu Babel, who returned from exile and rebuilt the temple, the priest Ezra rebuilt the people. With this, we come to the end of the book of Ezra. In the next video, we will enter into the next book, Nehemiah. God bless you.